Getting ready to go on Carnival Panorama to Mexico, September 4th, 2021. <laughs> Beautiful panorama. Here we are on deck one. Panorama. Right. 1459. To the right. To the right. I like the hallway. It's big. 1459. This is our video. This is our inside cabin number 1459. Cute bed. Desk in the mirror and a stool. Beach towels. And another countertop with a TV. Pretty bathroom. With some shampoo and shower gel. Pretty blue, beautiful blue. Closet with extra bedding and a safe. Lots of hangers right there. So we've got a copyright hit on music on this video, so I'm just doing a voiceover here. I'm not sure where the music was at, but I'm guessing it was uh, one, of, one of our scenes, so I just went ahead and silenced all the music in the background. There's quite a bit of music going on in a lot of the venues here on the ship. So this video, we're just kind of walking around. There's, uh, you can see this uh, place to get coffee and sh shakes although i never saw anybody buying shakes and then here's the picture gallery where you can check out all your photos and those kinds of things and we're approaching the pig and anchor which is a a barbecue place and uh they play kind of blues country western kind of music and that's it's pretty loud here so i'm thinking that they may uh have had the copyright hit here they also have a lot of craft beers here which is really good and this is again Pig and Anchor and uh, we're going in here on uh, Embarkation Day because uh, it's complimentary on, on Embarkation Days otherwise it costs money and of course the beer always costs money uh, we don't drink so we didn't have any beer but it was tempting because uh, I used to enjoy craft beers and uh, there's quite a selection here of barbecue stuff Mac and cheese, baked beans, sausage, pork foot, beef foot. Hello, hello. Scratch made slaw, potato salad. Carnival panorama. The floor tells you what deck you're on. I'm on deck three. Perfect. You see? Now they are in, in the same room. There is two beds, so you don't need uh -huh. to scan both. Skate, you skate here? Yes. yes. Then, next nice party. Done. Left jacket for them, maybe they can go. Right. Now that, that we went and saw the mustard drill in there, and how to put on a life jacket, this part of our app shows that we've completed the muster. Safety drill. <laughs> <laughs> Little marketplace. You can go in this door or this door. Pizza's over there and the seafood shack is over there. And there's food all around. This is how you wash your hands on Carnival. You stick your hand in there and there's soap. It spins water around and it's done. Ta-da! We got clean hands now. We can eat. It looks like a trash bin. The instructions are right there. Automatic hand washer and sanitizer. When the light comes on, you need to refill it with sanitizer soap. Complete chicken, jambalaya, nantucket fish, old-fashioned pot pies, pepper steak with onion, candy jam, lasagna, mashed potatoes, buttered broccoli. Mm. The 
Tuscan porchetta. Smoked poblano and corn soup. BC EBC. Baked potato. Vegetable lasagna. Smoked quesadilla. Grilled bassa filet. Fried shrimp. Oh, yummy. Roast chicken. Braised green beans. Salads. Fixings for salads. Hello, hello. Hey, Hi. how are you? Salad dressing. Salad dressing. What is that? Carrots? Yeah, Sweet uh, potatoes? They're, they're yams. Yams. Yeah, Old nice fashioned one. chicken pot pies. Yeah, wow. I've seen myself. Can oh. <laughs> yeah, I give it a try? Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks good. Steak with onions. Very good. Mmm, lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Jambalaya. Sandwiches. Are outside. Okay, thanks. Buffalo chicken sandwich, meatball sandwich, grilled ham and cheese, classic grilled cheese, Reuben sandwich, Cuban mixed dough, hot dog, pastrami and tomato, tomato, mozzarella, turkey, BLT, tuna, Southwest chicken, turkey wrap, and falafel wrap. Mozzarella and tomatoes. Cold cuts. Focaccia. Olive oil. Pesto. Salads. Salad fixings. Potatoes. Pumpkin enchilada. Jalapeno cheese fritters. Frio negro. Cheesy potatoes, nachos, chipotle grilled chicken, pescado Rodrigo, <laughs> Tex-Mex pork ribs, pozole verde, mmm, yummy, so much to eat here. Jalapeno fritters, pumpkin enchiladas. Oh wow, that looks good. Salad fixings. Bread. Salad. Summer vegetable salad. Turkey. Hi. Hi. Jesus. Ham and boiled eggs. Potato salad. Tomatoes. Yeah, that's it. That's enough. Roast beef. And bread. And butter. Empanadas. Fresh fruits. Gelato. They're making gelato. Happy gelato and mango gelato. Yeah, they're gonna make it for you. Oh my gosh. It's oh, free go gelato and then you put all the fixings. Yes. Fresh yes. cookies. Yeah. Mm. Jello. Alright, more music here, so I have to voice over to hopefully eliminate any problems. Uh, we got our Kate got some gelato. And, uh, which is also complimentary on Embarkation Day, which is really great if you like gelato. Uh, I didn't partake, but they have plenty of soft serve ice cream, which I enjoy. And you can see here there's a Queen Mary and what used to house the Spruce Goose in Long Beach. Uh, it no longer houses the Spruce Goose. It's for Carnival Cruises now. Here we are headed towards the casino. You can see there's a, a bar in this in the atrium here where people are having a couple of drinks. It looks very popular right now. This is embarkation day. And so the stores are closed right now because we're still in port. Uh, they'll open up as soon as we as soon as we leave port. And everybody's friendly, glad to see us because 
nobody's been cruising for a while. And we walked through the casino and then also the American Heroes Bar, which is sort of a sports bar. There's a lot of TVs set up. You can watch a number of sporting events. I saw tennis and uh, obviously there's football, uh, whatever happens to be going on at that particular time. And it's, this is kind of a tribute to the, all the veterans and uh, all, the, all the heroes from what we've been involved in, all the conflicts we've been involved in. And this is where you can go, the Limelight Lounge. There's uh, entertainment in here as well as several other spots on the ship. This is uh, pretty popular here. Uh, the ship wasn't at capacity, so a number of the venues weren't uh, <laughs> fully attended, I would say. Uh, uh, the Havana Bar, which we're approaching right now, was really popular. I noticed a number of people in here that uh, that enjoyed it. It's uh, mainly Latin kind of music, lots of dancing. And this is another spot, the Ocean Plaza Bar, uh, that you can... Uh, have breakfast here, I believe, on the inside, and um, uh, it's a, sort of like a little mini buffet that they set up. And here's another shot of where the Spruce Goose used to be housed. Uh, and you can see the walkway, how we got in, and there's a number of forklifts and those kinds of things running around, uh, stocking the ship now with all, all the food that we're going to eat over the next seven days. I'm assuming they uh, don't stock up with food when we get to Mexico, but nobody's told me that, so I don't know. The ship was running at about, um, I don't know, half capacity, I'm thinking, two-thirds, something, um, no, about half. Uh, so nothing ever felt crowded. We had uh, plenty of room to move around, and the only time that I ever remember feeling like there were a lot of people on the ship was when we had to actually uh, go on our uh, uh, shore excursions. And that's the only time you kind of just line up. And that wasn't very crowded either. This is the Lido deck, and this is Guy's Burgers, very popular on Carnival Cruises. Uh, I had to disable the uh, music in the background because we got a copyright hit. And so I'm just showing some of the features of Guy's Burgers here. As usual, it's very popular. There's always a line of people here. And this is, I love the uh, Blue Iguana Grill. This is, this is great, great breakfast. And a great lunch is also, it's not open for dinner, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be eating here three times a day. What you making? Taco. 